Well, good morning. 9th of April, uh, just coming into three weeks of uh, my furlough. I'm pretty lucky. Luckier than most. Uh, just gonna say that. Yeah, apologies for the uh, sound quality because, uh, yeah, things happened. <sighs> We're not going to go into it. I'm using the Action Camera's own microphone today. I haven't got my other system set up. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, I've just spent like two and a half weeks, nearly three, just looking at things going, oh, that's really bad. And it took me a long time to get over that. So if you're still in that, then I don't blame you at all. So I've been furloughed from my job. So I haven't been to work in nearly three weeks. And I've just been, most of the time, just been sitting around. But I've, you know, been trying to figure out ways to make being creative a lot more easily. Easier, rather. So yeah. That's weird. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're allowed out for about an hour a day exercising, so I'm going to take up the vlog again. Uh, i try and keep this camera set on me. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed... Um, You know, oh, this is dire. You have to walk around in circles and it does affect things. So yeah, and I'm not recording it again. I've already had a couple of false starts this morning. You know, what we've got is what we've got. So this is just a short notification that I'm rebuilding the vlog. pleasant so yeah so yeah I've spent a lot of that time talking to people uh, worried and scared and dealing with the whole fallout of the coronavirus it's kind of like a you know it could end up being a generation defining moment and could end up with a completely different world but that doesn't mean that uh, you've got to just give up getting up in the morning and getting yourself together and even if you're not working you know getting out the door and doing your stuff is pretty important I'm trying to you know now I'm trying to use the time you know to benefit me so I've got a lot of time I can put in a vegetable garden I can do all the little bits of DIY that I feel I've never got time for and maybe get into a habit of achieving stuff you know and while I, while I was talking to uh, Harlequin over in Oz, he'd told me he'd seen a thing on Twitter where people were doing, you know, an hour a day challenge, like yoga or thing like that. And I thought, what a useful thing to be. I mean, if you could, you know, a bit like what, we've, what I've been doing with Urban Agogi, you know, just go, right, what was I going to do with those two hours? Probably just watch YouTube videos. So maybe if you could make it a half hour thing, you can make it significantly better. You know? I am gonna look down while I'm going down those steps, they're very uneven. So yeah. So if you break down like a two hour time period, you know, into exercise, entertainment, education and environment, you know, they're all big with E, like that, four E. Um, you could do half an hour and you, you know, you're always going to be slightly better off than you were before, you know, slightly better informed. And to that end, um, Harlequin shared with me a link to a library that I'm going to put down below this video where, um, there's a link to a big old library of downloadable PDF books that theoretically you could print out. They're in, they're fairly large print, you know. You could convert them to a Kindle format or convert them to a phone format. You know, you could do anything with them. 
and yeah maybe we need to be a bit bit better informed about stuff yeah maybe you need to write it down in a concise essay what you've learned that day take 10 minutes to write it down you know keep it in a digital diary or something like that you know everything that you did and everything that you were thinking Maybe we need to write need to learn some stuff you know need to chill out need to make sure that there's a space in our day for you know a space you know space a time for connecting with people and a time for you know disconnecting from everything you know just to keep yourself sane because it you know really really can be depressing just looking at numbers on screen knowing that those are human beings that aren't with us anymore and it's nearly 90,000 people worldwide which is the size of a, a large rock stadium imagine if you took a sports arena or a stadium and you just like annihilated everybody in there you know and that's just happened in the course of a couple of months of it really biting you know it's pretty scary some countries are telling the truth about their figures and some aren't some countries are you know testing like crazy and some aren't you know the UK isn't really testing that many people you know and the tests that we do have aren't all that reliable so you know it's easy to lose hope I mean I'm pretty sure I've already had it but you can't be sure so you've got to isolate yourself and for about two weeks I didn't really go outside I went outside to record those walk videos that I put online uh, and I went outside to do shopping but I didn't go outside every day and get some exercise so this video is just like saying right okay I'm back I'm gonna for the time being put these things on Urban Agogi but there'll also be a new, you know a new link below here to the culture which is the new project and I'm just waiting for a few things to come in the post so I can uh, you know make that as good a show as I possibly can as good a, a YouTube channel and thank you to everybody that's helped me work on it thanks to Digital Whiskey and Direct Current for doing various bits and pieces I get down here let us take the road, road less traveled um, yeah so I'm gonna try and do something helpful because I feel like I've been doing pretty much nothing this whole time and that's not good but you know just lots of phone calls you know I've been keeping in touch with people far more than I would normally and uh, you know, trying to get all my stuff done. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. This is only a very short video. I came out without the right amount of stuff and I'm not going to make you suffer through bad sound quality. But yeah, I'm going to try and improve things. So, I'm going to try and get up to a lot more stuff, trying to get up earlier. Because one thing about living around here and the coronavirus is... Uh, people are stuck in and they tend to go out for a walk in the woods so if you don't get out early you don't get out at all so look after yourselves take care enjoy yourselves as much as you can hope you and yours are safe you know you can strike anybody and I've been very lucky so far in that nobody I know has succumbed to it that I know of yet so yeah And we'll try and get the culture up and running. It really did kick it for six. You know. Actually, I think it's only been two weeks. It just feels like longer. It feels like an endless stretch of time, but I think it's just two weeks that I've been sitting around. So we're coming up to our, my third weekend. So yeah, so hopefully you're all okay. There is a... Uh, um, a special discord group that, I've, that Harlequin very kindly set up I didn't set it up called uh, the Isolation Ward so if you want to go in there there's usually somebody in there 24-7 if you start a conversation or say something people will usually respond so yeah that's about all I got for you at the moment and if you go over to the culture there's my uh, initial forays into doing game playthroughs because I thought Fallout 4 would be very apt for the culture I just didn't realise how apt it would be in the, uh, the year of the coronavirus COVID-19 let's not lose our heads 
you know, I'm going to have to do different stuff. I'm going to have to pay attention to different things. And it may go on for another few months. So yeah, who knows what's going to happen then. So I'm hoping we, you know, have good reasons to uh, do stuff and get things and come out into a better world after all this is over. So yeah. So I hope everybody takes care of themselves. Where am I going? Who's coming with me? And never get the order messed up. And thanks for watching. And do take care. See you tomorrow.